It's a review. I feel like I've been through stages of different types of hair, human and synthetic hair. So now is the time for me to just share my experience of this new, well, new to me because this is my first time using fashion twist type hair. Hello, Han. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Robin, I run a holistic beauty blog called Behold and in this space we're all about feeling beautiful from inside out. Before I went natural I actually wore extensions and I wore the Remy Brazilian City hair at the time. I thought that it looked really good but now looking back and just looking at some photos I can see that it really didn't match and I just thought that no one would notice. I've been through the super kinky synthetic hair, I've been through the sleek uh, expression, the darling, the different types of sublime hair and I thought I'd quickly chat about my experience using this hair because it is 250 rand a pack or well, at least it's 250 rand at the shop that I bought it from in Claremont and I know that that seems a little pricey if you consider the prices of synthetic hair and how many packs of hair you would normally use when you're braiding your hair but I'm gonna get into every single thing, the style, the experience, the convenience. So just sit tight and let me know if you enjoy this review. I'll be creating more content like this. And then also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and who has been commenting and letting me know via DMs, even coming to my Instagram and sending me messages. I really appreciate you. I appreciate you showing love and support. And sometimes the questions that you ask me inspire videos and other people may not have the confidence to ask those questions so it's really great when you send me a comment or you ask me a question because then I can answer it through a video. Let's talk about the texture. It is synthetic hair so it still does have that plastic feel and it's got that shiny look. It is darling hair. The exception that this is curly hair so this synthetic hair is styled in a curly uh, style and that is actually way more convenient for me because my hair is curly to kinky and it just matches beautifully with my hair even the color that i chose it was a uh, brunette but then it also had like red tips and that gave me like a little bit of an ombre effect i wasn't really fussy about the hair color i didn't mind what color i was using even if i was gonna get blonde i just wanted to try it because i hadn't used a curly style of synthetic hair before and i just wanted to see what it would look like this is actually what the hair looks like and this is actually used to crochet but because i've been twisting for so long and i just find twisting way more convenient to do and to take down i thought i'm gonna use this hair and just see how far i can go by twisting it and i was really pleasantly surprised because when i opened the pack i saw that all the hair was already separated so you can see here and it's so compact in its sections that there's not much hair flying around there's not going to be synthetic hair lying all over the floor this is a 22 inch but the instruction says if you want it to be a 30 inch then all you have to do is brush the hair so that it can be extended because it's curly hair and you know if you are a curly girl you know that the curlier your hair is the tighter the coil is the shorter your hair will be so with this if you wanted to extend the length all you have to do is to brush it out because that then allows for the texture to be loosened and the curls will be wavy it won't be as tight what i did for convenience is that i just ran my finger through the hair like this I also love the amount of hair that they included in each section because this is exactly the amount that I needed to do my twists. So as you can see, this is already longer than the other one. And because it's compact 
and already separated that saved me so much time normally when i'm using synthetic hair i first have to separate the hair then i need to brush it and then i need to ensure that all of the hair are in certain places like they can't be on top of each other or sideways because otherwise the hair clumps up and then it just gets knotty and i'm picking up different strands of hair and single pieces that are not supposed to be there and they are hair flying there's like hair lying on the floor so this was really really convenient for me to use so when you're doing the crochet technique you would normally braid the person's hair in a cornrow and then you would use the crochet pin and then basically loop the hair into the braids that have been cornrowed but because i use this to twist i felt like it was so convenient it took me three hours to style my hair in these twists but what i did was instead of using just one piece of hair which i thought would have been long enough like it got me to bra strap length right i decided that i wanted my braids to be a little longer it is waist length and in order for me to achieve that i i had to use two pieces of hair i felt that this amount of hair was thick enough for me no matter how tight you twist it the hair actually loosens it expands which was great for me because i felt that in the past if i had used a different type of darling synthetic hair or even like expression if it was this little that was going to be very tight it was going to look like this let me just show you quickly which is way too thin for me but because this hair actually expands as you can see here it looked beautiful the thickness that i wanted so that brings me to the amount of packs i use can you guess how much i used i obviously extended the hair i used more hair than would usually be used if you were doing like a 30 inch style if i probably stretched the hair out more then the hair would have been longer without me having to extend it this much i actually use one and a half packs of this passion to spray and this is the amount that's left basically half of the hair that's left i was actually really concerned because not using passion twist before i was thinking i need to get four or five packs and then the lady in the shop said to me you don't need to buy that many two will definitely be more than enough she basically convinced me not to get an extra pack which was weird from sales lady but uh, i thought it was really nice of her to be sharing like the wisdom with me and then regarding setting the braids because i did it myself the braids aren't tight but the passion twist like i said is the type of fiber that is looser than most start with it being really tight because then it's going to loosen anyway unless you crochet it in that case when you crochet it you know that it's going to be on your hair for as long as possible but because this is synthetic hair i still felt that it was important to set the hair i've actually mentioned this in previous videos synthetic hair actually as a preservative that is sprayed on it or i don't even know if it's sprayed on but the preservative that is on it helps to maintain the hair and that is actually what causes itching when the synthetic hair touches your scalp so because this is loose and it's not even touching my scalp not experiencing itchiness at all but when you have fine braids or when this is touching your scalp you have to ensure that you're doing either like a vinegar rinse or just set the hair with hot water like you usually would when you're braiding your hair overall i think it was a really good experience just for myself in terms of convenience not having to separate hair having the fiber be so compact that there wasn't like synthetic hair lying around and also having a texture a style that is curly and kind of suits my own hair texture i'm going to end the video here but let me know if you enjoyed watching this video and then i can create more content like this and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already our community is growing and i have some cool prizes and videos coming up that i would hate for you to miss and if you do want to watch more of my videos stick around for a little bit and i'll see you in the next one